Hey, what's going on guys? The Horror Man back with the next Top 20 for 2020. This time I'll be ranking my Top 20 favorite 80s slasher films. In case you missed the first Top 20 for 2020 video, Jason and I created the series, and every two weeks we will be giving you guys a new theme. And with each theme, we ask you to rank your top 20 films from that category. The first theme was zombie films, so that's what we ranked. Each new category is chosen at random, and we got one of the best this time, 80s slasher films. There are also a few rules, which I mentioned in the last video. For example, we can only include one film per franchise. We are also not allowed to include any honorable mentions, so we can only show our top 20 films from each specific category. And finally, Jason and I will only be including movies on our lists that we actually own. As always, it's important to keep in mind that this is just my personal opinion, and I will be ranking the films from my least favorite, number 20, to my favorite, number 1. 80s slashers is one of, if not, the best theme there is. And as a matter of fact, it's also this week's Slashback Challenge theme. I had a lot of fun compiling this list, and there were so many obvious choices. But there were a few you'll find a bit surprising, I think. But hey, it's my top 20. In my top 20 for 2020 zombie films video, I featured different formats. VHS tapes, DVDs, and Blu-rays. But in this video, despite owning most of these films on various formats, I opted to only show VHS tapes, since that's the best way to watch 80 slashers, in my opinion. Like in my zombie video, I will not be saying too much about each of these films, since I do not want this video to get too long. But if you'd like to discuss any of them further, please feel free to comment below. And so, here we go. Top 20 for 2020, number 2 my top 20 favorite 80s slasher films. Coming in at number 20 was a must for me, and probably a must for most of you. Child's Play. Now, I'm sure many of you would have this ranked higher on your lists, but for me, it just barely makes it at number 20. I love the film, I've seen it so many times, but I actually enjoy the other 19 films on this list just a bit more. At number 19 is Anguish. This is a slasher I reviewed for the Slashback Challenge last year, and because of that, I do not need to say too much about it here. If you want to know my opinion, please feel free to check out that video. I will say, I absolutely love this one, it's very unique, and if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Here's another one I've discussed on my channel in the past, for another Slashback review. My number 18 pick is The American Scream. Speaking of unique, like Anguish, this one is very different, and that's what makes it stand out for me. The fact that it's super obscure sort of adds to the thrill of this one. It's just so much fun, and it's a shame that it's so rare, because this is a movie that you just want to share with everyone. I love it, and it's number 18 in my top 20. My number 17 pick is a movie that will inevitably be getting a lot of attention this week with its Arrow Blu-ray release. It's Edge of the Axe. I've mentioned this one so many times, and I'm so glad everyone will finally get to see it on Blu-ray. This here, of course, is the VHS release with the classic cover art. I remember renting this one all the time. It's such an underrated slasher film, and it's number 17 in my top 20. Fittingly, at number 16 is Sweet 16. Yet again, this is another film I reviewed during the Slashback Challenge last year. I know this one tends to get some hate. A lot of people think it's slow, but... I don't see it that way. I think it's a fantastically made slasher film, and that's why I needed to include it on this list. Coming in at number 15 is another must. It's Wes Craven's classic, A Nightmare on Elm Street. This is a slasher film that people who don't like slasher films has seen, and there was no way I could not include it on this list. It's another one that I'm sure most of you would probably rank higher, but for me, I'm happy with it here at number 15. At number 14, you know, like February 14th, is My Bloody Valentine. I love the setting in this one, I love the kills, especially in the unrated cut, and it's a great whodunit slasher. 
definitely worthy of this top 20 list. Silent Night, Deadly Night, I will admit, was the final film I decided to include in my top 20. So how it ended up here at number 13 is beyond me. I originally considered including a different christmas theme slasher film, but ultimately went with this classic. I'm reminded of how much I love this one every time I watch it, so I guess that's the reason why I ranked it here, at 13. From Silent Night, Deadly Night to Silent Rage, my number 12 pick. It's Chuck Norris in a slasher film. What more could you want? This movie is awesome. Coming in at number 11 is The Fun House, which probably has the greatest carnival setting in horror movie history. For that reason, and that reason not alone, Elizabeth Berridge, The Fun House is number 11. We've made it to the top 10, and coming in at number 10 is Chopping Mall. Now, I know some people don't actually consider this to be a slasher film, but it most definitely is in my mind. Robots just happen to be the killers. It has a fantastic mall setting, it's so much fun, and it's worthy of its spot at number 10. At number 9 is another shopping slasher, Intruder. But instead of a mall, this one takes place at a small, almost claustrophobic grocery store. Pair that with some amazing kills, and you have an awesome 80s slasher. We are up to a string of camp slashers now, starting with my number 8 pick, Madman. You guys know I love the theme song for this one, but I love the movie even more. Madman should have had sequels. At number 7 is the film I actually reviewed for Camp Slashers during the Slashback Challenge. It's Body Count. This is the Ruggiero Diodato film, and it's an absolute dream for slasher fans. It's extremely hard to find, but it's worth the hunt. So if you can track down a copy, I highly recommend checking it out. A bit of a disclaimer for Body Count though, it has no US release whatsoever on any format, so you'll have to look overseas for an official copy like this one. I almost feel like this deserves to be higher, but I'll leave it here at number 6. It's Sleepaway Camp. This here is my VHS copy signed by Felissa Rose herself. It says, meet me at the waterfront after the social. Felissa Rose. Very cool. This is one of the greatest slashers of all time, hands down, with one of the most memorable endings. Into the top five with The Burning. Many consider this to be the greatest camp slasher of all time. And, well, maybe it is. But for me, it's my number five in my top 20 favorite 80s slasher films. And like Madman Mars, the Cropsy Maniac deserved some sequels. I better not get any grief for my number four pick because this is definitely a slasher. It's The Terminator. James Cameron's classic starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and Linda Hamilton. But my favorite character would be Kyle Reese, played by Michael Bean. Absolutely love this movie. Who doesn't? It's a slasher film, and it's number four. I'm sensing even more controversy with my number three pick, Junior. I've said it before when I reviewed it, I consider this to be one of the most entertaining horror films ever made. Literally. I think it is one of the most entertaining films ever made. I have so much fun watching this. It's a slasher more than it is anything else. And that's why I decided that it is my number three favorite 80s slasher film. If you haven't seen this movie, watch it. But it's another one that has never received an official US DVD or Blu-ray release. However, you can find it on VHS, like this one right here. What's number two and what's number one? I almost still don't know, but it's time to make a decision. My second favorite 80s slasher film of all time is Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. A lot of people are going to have Halloween 2 on their lists, but for me, I prefer Halloween 4. This one has a great Halloween atmosphere. It's my favorite of the Halloween sequels. And there is only one movie on this list that just barely, just barely beats it out for the number one spot. And that movie, my number one favorite 80s slasher film, is Friday the 13th, Part 2. When I hear the term slasher film, two horror franchises immediately come to mind. Halloween and Friday the 13th. 
But since we're talking about 80 slasher films, I tend to think of Friday the 13th even more. Especially Part 2. Friday the 13th Part 2 has everything you could want in a slasher film. It has a great setting, fantastic kills, gratuitous nudity, and it also gives us our first glimpse of Jason as a killer. Sure, we see a glimpse of him in a dream sequence at the end of the original Friday the 13th, but it's in part two when his killing spree really begins. There's no hockey mask yet until part three, but so what? He's still menacing with the sack over his head. Part two also has one of the greatest slasher film final girls in Ginny, and I know a lot of you won't argue with that. For me, Friday the 13th part two embodies the slasher genre. It's practically the perfect slasher, and it's my number one favorite 80s slasher film. Well guys, what do you think of my top 20 favorite 80s slasher films? Comment below and let me know. And be sure to check out Jason's top 20 for 2020. Also, please feel free to participate yourselves. We'd love to see your rankings. Thanks for watching guys. Be kind. Subscribe.